The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number three, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on May 27, 1974, in Rome, Italy. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto him, Shuka, the spiritual master of all sages, the son of Yathadeva, who, out of his causeless compassion for those gross materialists who struggled to cross over the darkest region of material existence, spoke this Purana, supplement to the Vedas, the cream of Vedic knowledge, after having personally assimilated it by experience. Jasana bhavam akhirasuti saramitam adhyata dhiva madhukhiti sadamata mongam Sanjarinam karunaya hapurana gayam stangabhasasunam mutajami rummani so, Shruta Krishani is offering respect to the spiritual master, Sukadev Krishani. When we offer respect to the spiritual master or any animal, we glorify his transcendental qualities. That is glorification. It's like we offer respect to Krishna, glorify. Uh, so this is a very important process to glorify the spiritual master by his activities, what he is actually doing. That is glorification. So what Sukadeva Goswami did, Sarnabhava, he first of all heard from his father back then, Bhagavad Srimad Bhagavatam, and realized it. He is not a professor and Bhagavad reciter. It's like in India now there are a class of men, especially in Vindava, the Gosai. They make a business. Therefore, uh, there are many, many very artistic Bhagavad reciter, but they could not turn even one man to Krishna consciousness <coughs> because they are not self-realized, sanubhava. And uh, of course we have tried our best. So in few years there are so many uh, Krishna conscious persons. So this is the secret. Unless one is sanubhava, self-realized, life is bhāgava, he cannot please bhāgava. That, that will not be a problem. Gramophone will not help. Uh, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's secretary, Sarup Dhamada, uh, recommended Bhagavata Parogya Bhagavata Sthana. That if you want to read some of the Bhagavatam, you must approach a person who is life living one. Bhagavata Parogya Bhagavata Sthana. Otherwise, there is no question of Bhagavata Yara. So Sukadeva Goswami learned from his father and Vyasa Mahabhagavat and he realized it. Sanabhavam. Uh, what is this book? Akhila Sutisharami. Kam Akhila means or universe. There are many scriptures, many religious scriptures. Uh, Especially the Vedas, Sruti means Veda. Sruti is learned by hearing, uh, not by reading. Uh, you can understand Vedic principle uh, even though you are not illiterate, provided you hear them, oral reception. God has given you the ear. And if you try to hear submissively, to receive something, then it will be fruitful. 
Kamya says. Shruti Kakanu Tunumam. Gyanit Priyasam. This is this is the Brahman uh, realization when he met Krishna. So he said this verse. Gyani Priyasam Udapasa Namantaiva Namantaiva Sarmukhuritanga Bhavadiya Bhata. People who are endeavoring to understand the absolute truth by the dint of his puffed up knowledge, they will never be. They will never be. Jnana prayasam. One has to give up this illegitimate attempt to understand the absolute truth by his personal knowledge. That is not. Uh, Krishna is not so cheap thing that by exercising your brain you can uh, manufacture a way to understand Krishna. Krishna says, Nam prakasa sarvasya yoga maya samabhidaha. I am not exposed to everyone. I am covered by yoga maya. People will not be able to understand me. So many Gyanis, Yogis, Karmis, they are, they cannot understand. No. Eh? Then Krishna says, Bhaktya Bhava Vijanati, Java and Eschava. Only through devotional service. Devotional service means submission. Surrender. First of all, surrender. Sarva Dharma and Paritya Jama Vekami Sarva You cannot understand me. By your so called karma, jnana, yoga, jnana, no. It is not possible. Bhakta bhavi jnana. Bhakta means to surrender. <coughs> so, here it is Suti Saram. And this Bhagavat is the Suti Saram. Just like cream. You churn the milk. Two months of milk, you get the five kilos kg of butter, a saram essence. If you simply uh, um, try to see where is the essence, you have to churn it. Then the milk there is, you can be, you may possess lots of milk, but uh, from the milk you have to take the cream. And that is intelligence. The Srimad Bhagavatam is the cream of Vedic knowledge. That would be said that Nigama Kalpataru Galitam Palamidam. Nigama. Nigama means Vedas. And Kalpataru, Vedas is just like desert tree. Desert tree means whatever you want, you can. Had a strong Vedic knowledge. Just like in India. The Ayurveda. Ayurveda means this is material thing, but it's still it is in the Veda. Dhanud Veda, military science. Uh, there are so many Veda. Veda means knowledge. So the Vedic knowledge is so perfect that anything you want, material or spiritual, you get the knowledge perfect. That is Veda. Veda is not ordinary thing. And it is learned by hearing. That Advigana Thamsa Guru Meva Vigatse Srotriyam Brahmanistam. Vedic knowledge, formerly there was no need of books. Nowadays, at the present moment, our memory is not so sharp due to Kaliju. Therefore, Bhas they wrote in. Uh, books in words, because people also, that uh, people in these days, they are they really dull-headed, uh, rascals. Therefore, if they uh, get this knowledge recorded in writing, they may be able to derive some benefit. Otherwise, formerly, basic knowledge was never uh, book reading. No, suti. Suti means here. Uh, this disciple is so uh, powerful 
that once he hears from his spiritual master, his memory is recorded immediately. That memory, therefore brahmacāri record. If you remain brahmacāri, then your brain will be so nice that as soon as you hear something, it will be memorized. This is the benefit of brahmacāri. And if the students are allowed to be sexually, uh, I would say, indulgent, then where is the brain? This is very scientific to remain brahmacāri. To understand from the Guru by simply by hearing. Once yet. So, uh, uh, there was a case, uh, of course, uh, that one uh, Englishman uh, chastised another Indian by calling him so many ill names, damn rascal, fool, like that. So uh, he complained in the uh, court that this man has insulted me. So where is the witness? So the witness, the uh, complainant said, there was a Brahmin uh, who was witness. He was taking bath in the gate. So he was summoned. The Brahmin was so sharp in memory, he exactly said, just like ground phone record, tape record, whatever he said. He said, I do not know what is the meaning of this, but these words were said. So people are so sharp in memory. That is Brahmin. Once he heard from the spiritual master, spiritual master is so triya. He has also nicely heard from the spiritual master. Therefore Vedic knowledge Actually, it is received simply by hearing. There is no necessity of becoming literate. Illiterate doesn't matter. Because it is, after all, received through the oral reception. That what is called Suti. And Suti Sarami comes, and all, all the basic literature, Srimadva Bhagavata, is the essence. Sri Bhaskara. First of all, describe the Vedas in four Vedas and describe further in Upanishad, further in uh, Puranas. The Puranas, they, some of the rascals say the Puranas are not written by Vyasa, they, they, they are rascals. Puranas are also explained further, supplemented. Purana, Purana means which uh, completes. Another Purana means the very old, uh, historical. So Puranas, they are mentioned, the Vedic instruction through the history. Uh, just like Vedic instruction, Mahavarta. Mahavarta is history. But the whole Vedic literature is there. Ideal uh, king, uh, how kingdom, uh, polity, uh, practically it is polity, but it is based on uh, Vedic literature. And the Bhagavad Gita is introduced in the uh, Mahabharata. So, the Srimad Bhagavatam is the uh, essence of all Vedic literature. This is the only one. You cannot present. Ego. If God is one, similarly, to understand Him, there is only one literature, that is Samadha Bhagavad. Bhagavad Gita is the preliminary study of Samadha Bhagavad. Suti Sāraṁ Ekam. Suti Sāraṁ Adhyāta Dīpam. Adhyāta Dīpam means just like Atma, the soul, is within this body. But due to our darkness, knowledge, insufficient knowledge, we cannot understand Atma, Paramatma. We cannot understand. So in the darkness, as we require a torch light, 
Similarly, Simad Bhagavatam is just like the taught light. You can see Atma and Pada. Advat or Deepam. Deepam means light, lamp. The white is required. Atititir Satam. Just like light is required by a person who wants to uh, uh, go through the light, uh, go through the darkness, but go to the light. Uh, suppose here is light and there is tunnel, and in the tunnel you require some light uh, to go to the other part of the light. Similarly, uh, <coughs> This world, this material world, is full of darkness. That is the difference between material world and spiritual world. Material world means darkness wherein you cannot understand what is God, what you are. That is material. We are very busy in this material world, but they do not know where they are going. Actually, they are darkness. The material world is darkness. They are so-called scholars and teachers. They are also in the darkness. And they are leading other people in the darkness. Because it is darkness, therefore we require sunshine, moonshine, and this electricity. As soon as it is covered, the sun is covered, you can experience it is darkness. At night it is darkness. Actually it is darkness. But by the grace of Krishna, he has arranged the light. But there is another world where there is no need of natatra, vāsate, urja, sasāṅka napāvaka. There is another world where there is no need of these things, lighting agent, either sun sign or moon sign. But God is so kind that in each and every universe it is full of darkness. Now you see how brilliant sun is there. This is His kindness. Jasya prabhā prabhavatu jagadanya kūti Therefore the sun is described as the eye of all the planets. Because we have got very nice good planet, very nice city, Rome, and London or America, this or that, that's all right. But as soon as it is dark, you cannot see anything. The mercy of sun sign. Krishna's mercy is there, therefore we can see, we can enjoy. Therefore sun is the sky. Jamsaksuresa Savita, Savita means sun, is Jamsaksu. Savita is that actually the eyes. Jamsaksuresa Savita, Sakalagrahana. Without sun sign you cannot see. In any part of the universe, in any planet, Actually, the sun is supposed to be the eye of the one eye, the sun, another eye, the moon, of the absolute Virata Rupa. So when he sees, then you can see. Without his seeing, you cannot see. We are very much proud. Can you show me? God? What can you see? That's it. Unless God sees, you cannot see. Why you are so much proud of saying, we have not seen, we have not seen, and what you can see? They are so rascal, they have these teeny eyes, they are proud of, they can see God, they can see this thing, they can see. But first of all, understand what you can see without seeing by the God. God sees by the sun, then you can see. Your seeing power is so dependent. And you are so much proud that you can see. Just see how, how much the whole world is full of rascal. Do they not say, we have not seen God? And what you can see? 
He cannot see even yourself. And what he will see? God. You are seeing your father and mother. And when they die, you are crying. Oh, my father has gone. Where he has gone? He is lying here. Why do you say my father has gone? Eh? No, he is gone. What do you mean by God? You have always seen the body of the father that is lying here. Why do you say? That means you have never seen your father. You have never seen your brother. So this is our position. We cannot see. He still we are proud. Can you show me God? He does not think his incapability. That I cannot see him. Our daily necessities of life without this sunlight. Therefore, here it is said, Adhyatma Dvipam. It is the light. If you want to see God, then you have to see through this light. And for whom this seeing is necessary? It is not necessary for the ordinary rascal. It is necessary, otititiri satāna-tamodham, one who is sober to think that why we are put into the darkness. We require light, fact that unless God gives us the light, sunlight, we are always in light. We cannot see. Tamodham. So those who are intelligent, that why shall I remain in this darkness? If there is light, that's why in daytime, if there is a dark room, we are staying. And if you hear that why uh, I shall stay in this darkness, there is light, enough sunlight outside, immediately we will be busy. Uh, so let me go to the light. Why shall I remain in this dark room? Similarly, the uh, sober man, Intelligent man, he'll think that I am put into this material world which is full of darkness. Is there any light? Where can I go? That is intelligence. Uh, Delhi is in, a, in, in the northern part of the hemisphere. Uh, in six months, no light. So it is intelligence. Uh, that why you are discovering so many? Electricity is light because we want light. Uh, so, therefore, intelligent person should be that really this material world is by nature dark. Whether there is another nature where there is only light. Uh, that may be said, Otititir Satanatamodham. This Srimad Bhagavata is required for such intelligent person who wants to go out of this darkness to the light. The basic information is that tamasi ma judidgama don't remain in the dark. Just go out <coughs> to the light. Judidgama. Judid means light. So. Basic injunction is that don't remain in the darkness, go to the light. So when one becomes inquisitive, how to go to the light for him this month? That what he said, the otititiri satam. Otititiri satam means to surpass, to overcome. Otititiri desiring to overcome. Otititiri satam. Tamodham, this darkness, the position in darkness. Uh, what is the darkness? Why these people are in the dark? Sangsharinam. They are undergoing the punishment because they have forgotten Krishna, they have uh, defied the supremacy of Krishna. They are put into the darkness, just like one who defies the the laws of the government, they are put into the jail, uh, outlaws. Similarly, Krishna Bhuliyaji Bhagavan, uh, these rascals who have forgotten Krishna, God, to serve Him, and want to remain independent without serving, they are made servant of the prison house, Maya. It's like the criminal. We don't care for government's law. We can do anything. All right, come on here. Of course, it's a lie. 
di media. This is the Simply define, I don't care for God. <laughs> you may not care, but Maya is there. He'll give you a kick and put you in this. He'll, be, he'll, be, he'll learn how to care. He'll learn how to care. This is what These rascals, they have become godless. Uh, and suffering day and night, threefold miseries, adhyatmi, adhidhoivi, adhidhoivi, he still is not coming to their senses. So blunt, uh, so dull-headed that we are, this is intelligent. When one comes to this understanding that I don't want all these sufferings, why they are forced upon me, then he can become a gentleman. Just in the jail, uh, nobody wants to, uh, I want to say, what is called? Breaking. Uh, breaking stone, uh, he doesn't want, but there is jail superintendent's order. He must break so much. And there is stick. If you don't break, it, so it is going on. Uh, Maya, Maya is kicking. Uh, all else. He must do it. Prakita Kramanani Puni Karmani. He wanted to eat anything and everything, all right. He takes this body of all and eat soup. That's all. Uh, this is Maya. Prakriti. He has given him a body. You have to suffer according to the body. Karanam guna sangasya sadasam janma Why there are different types of bodies, different types of enjoyment. Everyone is in the material world. Why one has become hawk, one has become dog, and one has become very rich man and demigod, very bad. Why? Who is making arrangement? Who wants to become cat and dog? Who does not want to become king? But why this is arrangement? Who is doing this? This rascal cannot understand. Therefore, to cover all this ignorance, they do, do not believe in the nature. But where, where from these varieties of life are coming? They have no brain. The so-called scientists, so-called, all bogus theory. As you desire, he will be given the chance by prakriti, prakriti kriyama, gunohi karma anisa. Ahankara vimuratma karta hamiti vandate. He is thinking that I am independent, vimuram, rasa. Karta hamiti. It's not karta. When there is death, you do not like to die. Why there is death? Why you are forced to die? What is your scientist will say? Oh, this is natural. But you cannot fight. You do not want to die, but death is forced, and you do not, even though you do not like, you say, hey, it is natural. So you cannot explain why death is forced there. Why birth is to forced there. Janma mitra jarabhyadi. You do not want to become old man. Why you are forced to become old man? You do not want to have disease. Why you are forced to accept disease? They have no sense. They have no, they're so, but a dull-headed, uh, they do not want any solution, but there is solution. Therefore it is called yeah, samsārīrā. They are dull-headed, rascals. Uh, they are undergoing the nature's process from one life to another, all miserable condition. To get out of this miserable condition, Sugudev says, he has this says, kurunaya aho. Kurunaya means out of compassion. People are suffering. This is Vaishnava. <coughs> Vaishnava takes so much trouble to speak to the rascals and dulls about God consciousness. Why? Out of compassion. They are very compassionate. Oh, so many people are suffering for want of knowledge. Let me try to give them something. Uh, this is Vaishnava's qualification. He is very kind. Titik sava karunika. Titik sava karunika. It's like Lord Jesus Christ. He was being crucified. He still was saying, uh, My father, they do not know what they are doing. Is it not? He is so much compassionate that these rascals do not know what they are doing, rascals. Still, I request you to forgive them. This is Vaishnava. Uh, uh, personally, he is suffering, but he is still compassionate. 
<coughs> there was an article recently that uh, Jesus Christ, although he was crucified, he did not die. Yes. Uh, he went to Kashmir. Uh, some historical references of that. <coughs> so actually when he was uh, representative of God, son of God, how this rascal could be living. It was a soul. Anyway, so the devotees, they are so compassionate, the tithiksha, they suffer all kinds of odds in this material world. Still, they try to give information. There is God, there is kingdom of God. You are suffering here. Uh, please do this so that you can again come back to home. But uh, this is the question. Kurunaya, out of compassion. Kurunaya, Purana Vidyam. Purana, there are eight kinds, eighteen types of Puranas. Out of that, Bhagavat is also Purana. This Purana is very confidential. Uh, this is not ordinary. It is called spotless. Uh, spotless Purana, because in this Purana, in this history, or in this supplementary of Vedic knowledge, uh, there is only a description of devotional service. Uh, dharma projita, this dharma, this uh, kind of religious, the Bhagavat religion, is so perfect that all kinds of cheating types of religion is kicked out from Dharma Prodhita Kuripura. They are not accepted. They are all cheating types of religion. There are so many religious, uh, there is not perfect knowledge. Uh, even they disobey. They cannot without disobey. Uh, because it, it cannot train people to the perfection. They remain defective always. Big, big priests, big, big. Uh, cardinal, uh, they are what they are doing. Uh, they simply disobey. Uh, Christ says, Thou shalt not kill, so simply eating meat. That's all. No intoxication, they are taking meat. They cannot be, they cannot be trained up. Uh, even though so called priests, they are not trained up. Uh, they cannot take it up. Therefore, Bhagavad principle is so nice that little training. Sarpamapiyasa dharma satrayati mahatuva. Little training, even the most fallen can be elevated to the highest position.